Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and today on my channel I have a very exciting thrift haul for you. I have a big pile of clothes here and I can't wait to show them all to you. Um, I love thrifting, like love thrifting, and I realized on my channel I don't have a single thrift haul. So we're fixing that today. I just went during my lunch break and apparently Mondays are their stocking day. I asked the cashier and she was like, yeah, Tuesdays are the best days to go because Monday we stop. So now I know. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, um, I would recommend doing so because I will be talking about in later videos or showing how I intend to alter or mend some of these. If you're interested in sewing or you like thrift flips and things like that, I will be... I have plans for these clothes is what I'm trying to say. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in any of that. If you're also passionate about trying to have a more eco-friendly wardrobe, like my New Year's resolution this year is to not buy any new articles of clothing with the exception of like undergarments and stuff. I can't buy anything new. I have to buy everything secondhand or I have to make it. And it's been really pushing my sewing skills and it's been really pushing me to think outside of the box and to look at things at the thrift store in a different way. Like how can I repurpose this? How can I flip it? So without further ado, I'm just gonna get started. I'm trying to decide what order I wanna show these to you guys. Like do I wanna save the best for last? Do I want to save the worst for last? Not that there's bad, but you know, you got to keep the excitement. I think I'm going to go with my favorite. So my favorite item I got today by far is this dress. I want to say it's vintage. A good indication that an, item, or an article of clothing is vintage is, well, A, some of the brands and B, uh, and B, if the label is woven and it's not printed, that is a pretty good indication that it is not a newer item. People don't often opt for woven labels anymore because they're more expensive. So I think, I think this is on the side of vintage. I'll have to look up this brand. The brand is Jamie Brooke. And you guys, this fits so, so, so well. I like... It cinches in my waist so well. The style is so cute. Like, I feel like this could be perfect for spring or for fall, depending on how you style it. Um, when I was at the store, I wondered why would anybody donate this? When I was cleaning and ironing this before the video, I found this. So, that's an easy fix. All I will have to do is just shorten the sleeves. So that will probably be in a future video. I'll show how to do that. Looks like it got burned or like wax melted on it or something. So I feel like that's the only reason why this got donated. The material is 100% rayon and I just love it so much. It is so cute. I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of this. The next item is, I don't think this is vintage. It's from Talbots. The material is linen and rayon. I can't remember if I said, but I'm trying during my thrift store visits, I'm trying to opt for more natural fibers. I'm over polyester, I'm over it. It's just, I don't want that in my wardrobe anymore. This is a wrap skirt, a true wrap skirt. It's basically like a wide panel, obviously tailored at your waist, but it wraps around, let me cut this off. It wraps around, there's some buttonholes along the top here, where is it, yeah. There's some buttonholes along the waist here for like variable sizing. Um, I was worried about one buttonhole that was a little bit ripped, but I tried it on and that's not the one I need, so I think we're good there. Oh, and I'm noticing a hole, which that will be easy to fix. In fact, I think I have some scrap fabric and I can just patch this up, so that's not a big deal. That's the thing, like, I don't let stuff like that deter me. I really don't. I see this garment as like still totally usable. It's totally fine. It's just a small little defect that you can fix and that way I can save this and it doesn't have to go in the dump. Yeah, I love this for spring and summer. It is like, I see this with a white crop top and white sneakers or like white sandals um, at the farmer's market, at a craft show. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just really cute. So this definitely will also be getting a lot of wear from me. This next one is a graphic tee. I feel like I don't have enough graphic tees in my wardrobe, so I really liked the aesthetic of this. The font is kind of 70s looking. It says, be groovy or leave, man, um, with a little peace sign. 
I love it. It's if it's large, and I was not worried about that because I intend to do a thrift flip with this. Um, I'll try to find the picture I found on Pinterest of what I want to do. Um, I feel like it would just take this to the next level instead of being just a graphic tee. I can add a little bit of that ruffle along the sides and just make it something new. And I intend to crop it a little bit and use the remnants of the crop for the ruffle. So if you want to see how I do that, stay tuned on my channel because I feel like I will be making a video on that. Oh, and this is 100% cotton. Cotton. 100% cotton. Next, you guys, I can't with this. I saw this, not that it looks anything remotely like Kendall Jenner's dress I'm about to reference, but if you're not following Kendall Jenner's closet on Instagram, I love that Instagram account. I follow it and I get ideas for like things to look at, things to look for at the thrift store and stuff. And um, they posted on there the other day this dress that I couldn't stop thinking about. It was like high neckline, boat line neck situation, just basic. It's a knit dress. You can tell it fits her pretty form fitting. Um, but the silhouette is exactly like what I found at the thrift store. Um, in the picture, hers is black, obviously, but I just, you know, I couldn't stop thinking about that dress. And then there was a dress that was so similar staring right at me at the store. I was like, well, I have to get it. Yeah, this almost fits perfectly. Like I was surprised when I tried it on how well it fit. There's a couple of tweaks I want to make. Like, I feel like I want to take it in under the arms, just the tiniest bit. And maybe that's it. I would rather it fit like kind of glide over my hips than be too form fitting. I want it to be, I'm opting for comfort over like form fitting, but this is 100% linen. I, I love a good linen dress and I feel like I could see this with wedge black sandals. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. And I have some, so I'll show you what that looks like. No belt, I don't wanna break up that line. So I'm very excited about that. Also, I think I'm gonna add a side slit. There is already a slit in the back, the back center. And I'm not crazy about that. I feel like what is more trendy these days is a side slit. I love a good side slit. So since there's already a seam in the side, right there, that's so super easy. You just unpick the seam up to the height where you want the slit to start. And instead of sewing those two pieces of fabric together, you um, just hem them in place separately. It's a super easy alteration. So I might make a video on that too. Next we have, which I couldn't decide if they look goofy or if they're cool. So y'all let me know, be honest. I found these linen pants. They are high-waisted with the pleats. I love pleats. I don't care if people think they're, you know, too old school. I don't know if they're in or out. I don't care, I love pleats. And I love that it had an elastic back because you know that whole gaping back situation, I'm over it. So it'll fit nice and snugly against my back. It has room for a belt. I love that as well. And I'm just not sure about the cut of the leg and the, um, the height, length of the leg. I'm not sure about that, so y'all let me know. Next we have, like I cannot believe how well these fit me. They look like they're tailored for me. These are some high-waisted brown linen pants. They are lined too. Unfortunately, the lining is polyester, but you know, you can't get everything. I realized the only issue with this is A, the lining sticks out past the hem. So I feel like the linen may be shrunk. So I'm, I'm gonna need to raise the hem of the lining. And then the invisible zip on the side is broken. That's probably why it was donated. So I will be fixing that. I am going to save these from getting thrown away and they will get a new life. I can see these with, of course, white sneakers and maybe the shirt I'm wearing actually. That would look cool. Yeah, they just, they fit like a glove. They're cut so well. So I feel like I could even treat this as my basic pants sloper so I can start drafting more pants to sew from scratch in the future because pants are notoriously difficult to draft. But if you have something like this that fits you very well, you can clone the pattern and just treat that as your base. So love that for me. I cannot believe how well they fit. Next, we have a 100% cotton, very bohemian skirt. I saw it and I could not leave it. This is like, I mean, this is very, very standard boho style, which I feel like isn't normally my style, but I just loved how whimsical it looked. 
would look great with a little crop top and sandals, going to the farmer's market. Can you tell about the farmer's market? <laughs> My local farmer's market is so good. Like, it's just something to do. It's like not even something I go to to purposely shop. It's just something I go to do. Okay, see, that this is true vintage because it says Sag Harbor, which can we talk about how 90s is vintage? That means I'm vintage. So yeah, it's like the tiniest bit big in the waist, but I'm not worried about it because it has a drawstring. I tried it on, it'll be okay. I'm not gonna bother altering it. So, so cute. Um, lastly, we have a rayon skirt, which is way too large for me, but I just loved it. A good black skirt to go with any crop top you have, graphic tee, like you can't skip that. So it was on clearance at the thrift store, like I think it was like $2 or something, so I couldn't pass it up. Kathy Lee is definitely, <laughs> I remember my mom used to shop with them. I will be taking this in, there's a zip at the side, so I'll have to take that into consideration. Let me check if it works. Yes, it works. There's a button missing. No, there's not a button missing. There it is, okay. So, basic black rayon skirt. You cannot go wrong. So, so cute. Would look cute with Doc Martens. That is all that I have for today. Um, I'm super excited about these. I feel like I found some great gems. Um, some things that need to be altered, like I said, but overall, I'm so stoked about what I found. For, I think my total was $23 for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. That's another thing why I, I'm so passionate about thrift shopping. Like you can, you can look good on a budget. You don't have to be spending insane amounts of money to look good. And especially when you start learning how to sew and how to tailor things to really fit you, like it can, you can, the, the sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want with clothes at the thrift store. Then there's no guilt factor if you like, I hate when you buy all this beautiful fabric, brand new, you cut into it and you mess up and you're like, oh, I just wasted that fabric. But there's like less of a guilt factor when you're tailoring thrifted items. You spent, what, $5 on a dress, you mess it up, no big deal. You can save the scrap fabric for something else, right? So that's why I'm so passionate about it. And like I said, I'm saving things from going into the trash, into the garbage. I'm giving them a second life. And I just love the idea of that. So um, again, if you enjoyed this content, if you want to see more thrift hauls in the future, be sure to like and subscribe. And again, like I said, tune into my channel. Um, I'll probably be making videos on how I'm going to do those alterations that I mentioned or the thrift flips. So um, I appreciate your time today. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all doing well. It's a beautiful Tuesday. Uh, it's supposed to rain and I love a good rainstorm. My flowers are like so close to blooming. I have snapdragons, marigolds, sunflowers waiting to bloom. I, I keep walking out there like every hour just like checking on them. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day and thanks for tuning in.